already bad that Dre is using International Women's Day to post a picture of her pregnancy by a 22 year old, but y'all have spent all day dragging a black woman because of her body. Fix it. Y'all already know what time it is. I got the black bean neck on. The way some of y'all are turning into the very thing that y'all claim to hate is quite hilarious and the irony is jumping out. What's going on you all? For those who do not know, we are talking about AD from this current season of Love is Blind season six. AD is this black dark skinned woman who was on this season and she has been objectified, sexualized and all of the things constantly. On the show, she's been sexualized and now we are seeing some of the stuff happening on social media and this is after, spoiler ahead, she was not chosen by her fiance. The fiance, Clay, did not say yes at the altar or whatever. We all saw that happening. People have been really nasty to AD online. Um, and this whole season of Love is Blind, there were multiple moments where I was just like, can we stop objectifying this black woman? There was a moment where Jimmy, who was engaged to Chelsea, made a comment about her body and saying that she was stacked like a bookshelf and Chelsea being uncomfortable and you know insecure and I, I don't really necessarily blame her she's like hey uh, AD where'd you get that butt and AD is responding laughingly uh, girl just doing my squats and stuff to me AD was giving I'm uncomfortable a little bit but playing to the joke like da 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 you know I don't think folks understand that sometimes when people are uncomfortable they'll play into stuff so they won't be in a bad situation because they overreact. It might be even more awkward. So it's just like, hey, I'm just going to play into it. That happens all the time. So later on, we find out that Laura made a joke and she bean dipped AD in the pods. Now, bean dip apparently is some joke that white folks do. Girl, keep that sorority place stuff that y'all be doing at the plantation, period. So apparently she slapped AD's bosom and she told her fiance about it, Jeremy. And she made a joke, apparently, that, you know, Jeremy should do it. And Jeremy brought it up in a conversation when he was sitting next to AD and Clay. And it was just very awkward. Laura's really pissed. I am not a fan of Laura. She is very verbally abusive. I'm glad that Jeremy was on that um, jet ski with the other white woman from January 6th. Laura and Sarah Ann come from the same KKK, period. They both look like they got a white hat on. They look like a napkin, period. I'm not a fan of either one of them, but I don't blame Jeremy. But I talked about that on my review on Patreon. Check it out if you want to. But Laura was one of the people that was objectifying and sexualizing AD. She, we don't hear about her doing that to anybody else in the pods or nothing, but she did that to AD. We also see Jimmy talking to AD. Apparently, he's attracted to her. He then left his fiance, talked to this girl with this, like, he stuck like a bookshelf. He talking to her for a long time enough for Chelsea, his fiance, to be uncomfortable. And this is the male gaze. Like, it's just, it was so stupid. It was so stupid. I just didn't get it. We see AD's fiance, Clay, do the same thing. Every time he talks about AD, he talks about her body. That's the only thing that he talks about with her. That's something I picked up, but I'm not surprised because even in the pods, he said that looks and stuff were important to him. He literally was engaging in all the fat phobia. Like, oh, you know, she got to be slim, da, da, da. And AD, I promise you, she is probably used to being objectified in this type of way. That That's probably why she came on this show. AD got so uncomfortable and was just so turned off when Clay was saying things about the physical. You can just see and see how her tone changed. Her tone completely changed and she was just not interested in it. Uh, and he masked that. That's that manipulation stuff that folks do to be a person that they are not. Something that I'm starting to recognize in the people that I'm getting to know, like, you are showing up in a different version than what you really are. And that's why I need longer time to, to see who you are because I want to see the real you. I want to see the sober you. I want to see the you when you are upset. I want to see the you when you ain't feeling me in this moment so I can see how you really show up. Because I don't have time for these little games. As you can see, I'm on one. But I'm, I'm just pissed because we've seen all of this happen, edited, posted on Netflix. Now we get to social media. AD chose a dress with a, a slip, a cut. Now folks are online dissecting it, trying to use certain language to make this 
something that's not. These are the folks who are literally calling out massage noir, but sexism and all these things, and now they're engaging in the same thing. Y'all are trying to critique this, and it is basically jealousy. And I wanna be the one to call y'all out and tell it. Like, girl, it is jealousy. This is this woman's wedding. She came out in a painted giraffe style dress. She can do that. This is her wedding. I don't care if it's Fashion Nova, body kind, she can do whatever. The way folks were critiquing and talking about her body and, oh girl, um, I don't know if I would have worn that. Like, we need to have a little bit more taste. Like, we all, you know, we got big booties, but sometimes we ain't gotta do too much. Y'all are literally policing this woman's body. Like, folks do not see that. Y'all are doing the same thing that grandmamas and great grandmamas and aunties were doing. We're telling black women to wear slips, like cover this up, this is too tight, da da da. You can't have your legs out, da da da. You need to put on some clothes, change your outfit because Uncle John is on his way. Y'all are doing the same stuff that your grandmamas and your aunties were doing to y'all that y'all did not like, and y'all are doing it right now. It is seeping out. Y'all don't see it. With all the books and all the knowledge, y'all can't check in with yourselves and say, you know what, maybe it's not appropriate for me to talk about this girl and how she's coming out and what dress she comes out in and how it's fitting on her body because there's other folks who had dresses and stuff on. They were not critiqued like that. I don't get it. Like. Y'all sound exactly the same as the folks, the white women's. Y'all are in y'all white women bad. That was telling that news anchor or meteorologist, that, that, that black female or meteorologist or news anchor, hey, you know, her body is a little bit distracting, da da da. Them white women's called into the news station and complain, complain, complain. That woman had to come out and talk about it. Same stuff happened with a black female teacher that, oh, you know, this is a little too inappropriate to be around kindergartens or first graders. Like, y'all are sexualized this woman. This woman has some clothes. Like, what's going on? Policing. What y'all want these folks to take their they, they cheeks off and their tits off? Like, what do you want them to do? Leave it at home? Like, what's going on? The way y'all are objectifying and dissecting this black woman's body and telling her what she should be doing, all these things, and it's just... Do y'all not hear y'all selves? This is a show for Netflix. You're talking about taste. Girl, this institution, this marriage mess, it's whatever you want to do, period. Y'all are telling somebody when they need to show up and y'all are engaging in respectability politics and y'all don't see it. You are engaging in the same language that y'all come out here and criticize all the time. Y'all are policing. Who gets to determine what taste is? Who gets to determine what you should wear or how much is too much? Who gets to make these decisions? Who do? Who has the right to tell us what is and what isn't too much? Who gets to do that? Tell me right now who gets to say, well, that's too much. Da -da. I do not care what AD had on. The way y'all are critiquing this woman's body, oh my gosh, like, and it, it does matter that she's dark skin. It does matter that she's dark skin because colorism is jumping out. Jumping out. Y'all can't see a dark skin woman being a quote unquote bad. Like y'all can't see it. Y'all do not want to see it. Like, oh, she's using herself and she's relying on her body and da da da. Girl, she put on a dress. Like, Throughout the whole season, we've seen AD wear a different type of outfits. She's had very different tastes, and it's not been that. Like, I like this is the moment to be the bad bitch. Like, this is the moment to show up. Just because you want to wear a church gown to your wedding or whenever you do get married, don't mean everybody else needs to. You don't get to tell somebody what they need to be wearing. And I feel like this is my critique when it comes to some of us and catch it. I feel like some of us feel like we are so knowledgeable and because we do have these things that we always need to speak. Like, sometimes we do like to hear ourselves talk. We do like to hear ourselves talk. And it's important for us to check in with ourselves and say, do I really need to offer anything for this? This is why it's important for us to check in, especially for folks who have platforms and have an audience. Every time you say something, every time, it, it's going to have a reaction. It's going to. So choose your words carefully. 
especially when you are talking about a black woman who is already being criticized. Their folks are eating AD up. She's been sexualized and objectified on the show. Folks are talking about how dumb she was. Nobody is blaming and dragging Clay. Everybody is sympathizing for Clay. Clay is the one who got on a knee and proposed to her and told her he was going to be all of these things. Knowing that he had been questioning every day, being in a relationship, being married. He was not sure about any of these things. But nobody is critiquing that. Nobody is critiquing the fact that the man holds all the power in these, these discussions about it. Like, it's up to the man to make a decision that he wants to get married. Nobody's talking about any of this. They're dragging, like, why she didn't recognize the red flags? Why she didn't such and such? Da, 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 da. It does not matter if you are an inspector gadget when it comes to seeing red flags. If men want to be crap, they're going to be crap, point blank, period. They're very good at lying. And they're very good at finding folks to lie to, period. Everybody can experience this level of deceit and stuff. Everybody. And a lot of us... No shade, a lot of us are in relationships with Clay's right now. A lot of us are so blinded by desire that we're not interested in seeing any red flags. We see it in our world. We see how people who look a certain way are allowed to get away with saying stupid things, ignorant things, be mean. But the moment someone is undesirable or read as undesirable it's already expected of them like girl you should be lucky you even here so don't step out of line so many people talked about that and we're gonna get into that in my next video too period and i got a video talking about that with miss netta and how we treat folks who we find undesirable because it's getting out of control it's getting out of control now ad i'm not gonna say she's an undesirable woman but she is definitely a dark-skinned black woman and that matters People feel comfortable in critiquing and policing her body. I remember a story that my mama told me that when she was growing up, she was heavy chested. And mama, forgive me if you do not want this to be talked about publicly, but I feel like my mother is a dark skinned black woman. And she talked about when she was growing up, like her, like her breasts were growing and people thought that she was active. They thought that she was sexually active because of that. They thought that Oh, you must be, because this is the re policing black women's body. Like, you want her to take them off? Like, what is it? What is the goal at the end of the day? What is the goal for this? What is the goal? Because if we're going to say that AD's dress was too much, it wasn't appropriate, what do we get out of her dress being appropriate for us? For our gaze and what we want to consume? We do these things and we wonder why... We can't see female politicians show femininity because it will show them weakness. This is the reason why we won't see someone like a Kamala Harris in a dress, giving a speech or doing any of these things. Like all these things are connected. Patriarchy, sexism, all of these things like, and all these things are connected. Y'all are policing this black woman body. Y'all are talking about it constantly. Like y'all can't just say, you know what? You know, it, I said, I said, I'll move on. Like y'all are hyper-focused on this Two seconds, this two minute clip of her walking with the drink. I just don't get it. Y'all were not even there. Like y'all were not even there. You weren't even sitting in the audience. You are a spectator watching through Netflix, a subscription you paid. They did not consult your ass to ask you what you thought was appropriate. Get over it. Get over yourselves. I would think for some of us who understand these systems would not engage in this type of rhetoric knowing what it will do. I would think, maybe it's just me, I would think, hey, I'm not going to join in on that because I already know what that is, so I don't want to offer anything. But it's just, yes, let's all join in and dragging this black woman, for this black dark-skinned woman with this big butt. Let's talk about how, oh, you know, we need to tone that down and taste. <laughs> Girl, you can't make this up. Like, you cannot make this up. Like, I just, I was shook. I was like, what is going on? Like, constant tweets, consistent tweets about this girl. Like, ah, da, da, da. And people even saying that AD is showing up. She's offering the only thing that she has. Making it seem as though it's her fault for him only being interested in her assets. Like, she keeps showing her body out. That's all they're going to know. It don't matter what it is. How she shows up. Like, Y'all will say this and then this is the same stuff that people use of why men or why people who was like predators or folks snatching folks up and doing all that. Like 
Oh, well, she had it out. This is the same energy, this is the same rhetoric that is being talked about in the Freak Nick documentary, which I hope they really talk about that Women were out wearing these outfits and stuff and men felt obligated to harass and touch these women. Like the same stuff that happens in the clubs. It's the same thing that happens to femme folks in the gay clubs. Like gay feminine men wearing certain outfits. Like men feel like they are entitled to touch and to do these things. The same way we're seeing this and we can talk about her body. We can talk about, oh, this is too much. Like y'all are not okay. Y'all are not okay. Like, it is slipping out, girl. Your slip is showing while you're trying to tell AD to wear a slip. Your slip is showing, sister.